Ozark practices, as you can imagine, have been stopped across the Ozarks because of this heat and humidity. Experts say it's so hot it can cause serious health problems to the students out there on the field. Michael Hoffman has more on what area sports teams are doing now to protect students and staff. Michael? Lisa, it is hot out here. We are around 98 degrees right now in Springfield, and if I can feel the effects after ha only having been out here for less than 10 minutes, one can only imagine what athletes would feel if they had to practice out here, let alone being in full pads. Now, I spoke with teams from Springfield and Bolivar, and they say while it would be nice to have practice going on as usual, their top priority is the safety of their student athletes. And we're following the science, and I think that's what's crucial about it. Uh, it. It's not going out on a whim. From Springfield to Bolivar, football fields across the Ozarks look like this, empty. And while the change of plans happen quickly, there are always contingencies for the extreme heat and humidity. Whether it be a morning practice on a day like today or a later evening practice or potentially even an indoor practice um, working around those indoor sports such as volleyball, um, we've got to have contingency plans in place as far as facilities are concerned. Schools like Bolivar are doing tests so. every 15 minutes to see when or if the fields are safe for practice. But we don't want kids um, getting hurt or we don't have, want to have kids with heat exhaustion, heat stroke and, and have to overcome those things as well. So uh, student safety is our number one priority. The same is happening in Springfield. Practices have either been moved to the mornings, the nights or canceled altogether. And Joshua Scott with SPS says when it comes to the games, it's not just the athletes that need to be thought about. What about our fans who are coming to attend? Uh, what about people that maybe aren't as used to that? So that's why you're going to see some uh, games push back a little later or practices pushed earlier. But Bolivar and Springfield have coaches trained in life-saving first aid as well as trainers with local hospitals that help the athletes, especially in times like these. We have different uh, emergency action plans that we follow um, as well um, with our coaches. Our, our coaches are trained on that as long as CPR first aid certified. Uh, they go through uh, heat illness training through MISHA. Um, that's one of the, the requirements for all coaches to go through. So they're trained on these things on an annual basis. Now, on Friday, there are already a couple of games that have been postponed. And if you want to know the exact times when those are going to be starting, check out All You Need to Know on Ozone. Reporting live in Springfield, Michael Hoffman, back to you.